let's talk emergency stop switches for spa controls all right so back here we've got our uh, main panel that's feeding power into our junction box through our flex conduit uh, these hard conduits are carrying the current over to the spa booster pump and the spa filter pump okay so uh, we have one black and one red coming in from each of these flex comes into the line side of our contactor passes through and down into the hard conduit uh, think of the contactors like a light switch if you will uh, when the contactors engage it allows current to pass through and activate the pump uh, the current that we're using is 24 volts and we have a transformer up here that's operated on a 120 circuit it feeds out of the 24 volt contactor uh, one line goes to one side of our contactor coil, one goes to the other, and then the uh, other line coming out is running to our emergency stop switch. So that is the yellow wire here. That's our current carrying uh, line. All right, and let's go look at the emergency stop switch and timer itself. Okay, so we've got the yellow wire coming in. That's carrying our current from the transformer. It then splices into the two reds, which feed into our contact block. Our contact block, when the emergency stop switch is engaged, opens the circuit, meaning it stops the current flow and shuts off both of the pumps. Coming out of the contact block, one line goes straight back and connects to a contactor. That's going to operate the spa filter pump. The other one feeds down and through this timer, 15 minute timer. And so when the 15 minute timer is engaged, it allows the spa booster pump to engage and operate. Okay. So in this setup, we simply used a six by six by six plastic junction box. There's an emergency stop switch button with a activator uh, block and then a 15 minute timer. It's gotta be 15 minutes for the uh, pool and hot tub alliance code. It also has to be seven feet away from the spa. So spa users have to physically get out to activate the timer. That's for safety reasons, okay? so. Uh, we had our one yellow wire feeding in, two black wires feeding back. And those black wires are coming back to the, to complete the circuits on our contactors, okay? And so that's the basic setup. Uh, the description of this video will have a parts list for everything that we've used for this. If we needed to add additional uh, pieces of equipment, we could add additional contactors. All right, that'll do it for now.